Okay, everybody, Onyx driving school in session. Sinead, are you ready to take the wheel? Yeah. Do we all have to go? Yes. The family that drives together arrives together. I don't know if this is a good idea. Are you really going to put our lives in danger in her hands? Hey, way to believe in me. At least Dad believes in me. Of course I believe in you. <laughs> don't worry, I won't crash the car. Uh, 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 who said anything about a car? What? We are going to be going on a driving simulation. These are your keys. What? Everyone grab a chair. We're going to go. All right, everybody. Are you ready for Onyx Driving School? What's the first thing that you do when you get in the car? We all need to pray! Yes, yes. What? Do you guys have any faith in me? No. Are you kidding me? Okay, everybody, settle down. Everyone buckle up. Okay. All right. Now, Sinead, I want you to check your mirrors. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just fixing myself up. You know, you never know if there's a cute guy that bumps into you. Uh, if you don't pay attention to this lesson, you might just literally bump into him and he won't be happy. All right, all right. Okay, Sinead, you can turn on the car now. Okay. That's the lights. Oh, okay. That's the heat. Okay, which one's the ignition then? You know, Sinead, I really thought that you would know. This is easy. I thought you would know how to turn on the car. Obviously, the ignition is right there. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, should I um, floor it? No, don't floor it. Floor it? All right. Don't floor it! I'm floor it! I'm floor it. I'm floor it. I'm floor. Give me these keys. Listen, Sinead, this is very A car is not a toy, okay? If you're not gonna do this serious, if you're not gonna be serious about this, you're not gonna be able to drive this car, young lady. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Here, let's try it again. All right. Okay, Sinead, you can pull out in merging traffic. Okay. Good job, Sinead. Looks like you've done this before. Well, yeah, I mean, I did it every day at the breakfast table. Keep your eye on the road. No, it's the heat that you turned on. Oh, oh, let me fix that. That's the radio! Oh my goodness, this is my jam! Oh, this is my jam! Oh! Watch out! Oh my goodness. Pay attention, Sinead. You almost killed us! I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do this. Sinead, you can turn up ahead now. She's a new driver. No, no, we would all rather go to heaven. Not right now. Not right now. What? Seriously? Sinead, I would think that when you put your left indicator on and you were gonna turn left, that you wouldn't go across the street to your right. Oh, sorry. I feel like I'm blocking a lane. Trust me, you're not blocking a lane. Um, so long as you stay on the sidewalk and on all these people's lawn, you're not blocking anybody's lane. Oh, okay. Sinead, can you get off the sidewalk, please? Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! <sighs> all right. All right, there's a, there's a dead end up ahead. Oh, well, do you want to drive now? No, I, I trust you. It's you okay. Sure? You sure? You sure? No, no he, Sinead, okay. got this. <laughs> Dad, right. I trust you, Dad. Let, I trust you. Uh, listen, let this be an object lesson to us all, okay? When you meet a dead end in the road of life, you just keep on trying. Never give up. Never keep on trying. So, we're gonna do three point turn right now, okay? Oh, I don't know if that's all right. Idea. Yeah. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Three point turn. Okay. That's one. That's two. That, that, that's three. Oh, 
No, 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 that's okay, sweetie. You, you, you're doing, nobody ever gets a three-point turn on the first try. Yeah, but we should at least be turning. Yes, yes. Turn the wheel, Sinead. Just turn it a bit. The, okay. Yeah. That's 12. Sinead, turn the wheel, please. Just, okay, you okay. just gotta turn the yeah. wheel. You're going straight. Yeah, okay. That's 21. I got this card. That's 22. Okay. That's 40. Okay, okay, I can't take this. Sinead, Sinead, we're in the same spot. Dad, don't worry, I'm not gonna give up. That's Just like you said, I can give never up. give up. I'm not gonna give up. But Sinead, okay. we're in the same spot. I never give up. Oh, I'm done. I can't take this anymore. Oh. But what about the car, Dad? We can't just leave it here in the dead end. Sinead, you're driving me crazy. Hun, you can take over from here. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day! We are bringing you a brand new Honest Kids School Days, The Prank War! In this book, it's April Fool's Day, which usually means pranks and fun, but for Shiloh and his friends, they have the added twist of the watcher. He's back and he's got a score to settle. Will Cornerstone Middle School ever be the same again? This book is the perfect April Fool's Day book. To get the book, go to Amazon.com, type in Honest Kids School Days Prank War, and there it is! <laughs> You can get it on Amazon and other select stores. Hun, I thought you said you were done packing. Well, actually, I'm ready. You don't look, you don't look like you're packed. It's all right here. For example, here are my clothes. And then I brought a few extra things here to pack just in case anything happened. I don't understand. All we need is just clothes and toothbrush and toothpaste and stuff like that. I just bought a few little extra things here, just in case we might need them. For example, we're going on nice sandy beaches. We're gonna have lots of time in the ocean. I wanna make sure everybody's safe. So, life jacket. But what if there's a freak snowstorm because of global warming and we are unprepared? We can't go freezing. Winter jacket. Are you kidding me? But what if the switch from hot to cold makes everybody sick. I, I've got some stuff I can't. for sickness. Got some I tissues, just, I, I can't. got a juicer, so some, for some fresh orange juice. No, hun, seriously, seriously. And last but not least, ugh, humidifier, just in case. I know it's humid on the islands, but you might need a little bit of extra humidity. Door stopper. Fire, what if a fire breaks out? Gotta have your fire extinguisher. I'm serious, I'm, hun, there's not gonna be a fire. And what if when we're walking, you know, we're just tra la 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 and someone comes up behind us. <laughs> Gotta have that. <laughs> Gotta prepare. But then, what if that person knocks us down, we get a scrape on our knees. Gotta have a first aid kit. Got my band-aids. Why don't you pack a remote control and then press fast forward on yourself? Because you really need to speed up. You know what, hun? That's fine. Just keep it, keep it all. I'm gonna go check on the others to make sure that they're packed. This is my favorite toy. I need to pack it. <gasps> And I'm about to pack. You know, Shiloh, I'm gonna have to stay here and watch you pack because I don't understand why you need a costume. That was fine. Ah, my Spider-Man toy went at the fair. My Deluxe Optimus Prime, I won at the contest. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. My boy's white. 
I take one of the cases without this. Ah, my strong man juggernaut. Ah. There's only toys! Hmm, I feel like I'm forgetting something. <gasps> Candy! Snickers! Yummy yum yum! Ah! Gummy worms and sourburst! I can't believe I forgot my bike! My goodness! You mean that you're gonna wear one underwear for the entire vacation? It's only a one month trip. I mean, I can keep on washing and washing and washing it. You see, Dad? It's called packing smarter, not harder. All right, channel, thank you. I'm gonna go check on Shasha. Shasha, are you ready? I'm a Bobby girl! Did you pack? And, uh... Yes, Dad! Uh, all right. Not my favorite. Ooh, pretty. Hmm, nice color, I guess. Turquoise. Ah, perfect. Ah, this is just right. Oh my goodness, I remember this one! Almost done packing, Dad. Don't Shasha! Have any... <laughs> hey, I have to look inside. You barely have anything packed. Come on, let's get going. We're gonna be late for the airport. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. Are you almost done? Okay, I'm almost done! You have to do without it. Oh, my Snoopy! Dad, you know where some scissors are? I forgot to open my Gabby Douglas doll! Come on, we have to hurry up! Okay! Five more minutes! Five minutes?! <sighs> ah, okay. I think I'm ready, Dad. Shasha, you have to get rid of something. Oh yeah, the S is a bit too much. All done, Dad! Dad? Are you done packing? Yeah, I'm pretty much done. Yeah, I, I've got it all packed. Mostly. I mean, almost. I mean, pretty much. I, You're breaking up. Sorry, gotta, gotta go. Bye. Okay, I, I better start packing. Alright, let's see. Oh, I gotta get this. Never know if there's like a beach there. Oh, just in case, just in case I go to a wedding there. Oh my goodness, this looks perfect for the mall. And this one too. Gotta get all my makeup. Oh, okay. Okay, I need my phone, my phone charger, books. <laughs> books. Kindle. And this one's for five minutes later. This is my night clothes. This is my other night clothes. This is my going to the bathroom clothes. Gotta bring my computer. Ugh. This is my shower clothes. Oh. Church clothes. Gotta bring random junk I don't need. Okay, got it. My prom outfit. I don't know what this is. I'll probably need it. Gotta bring my TV. Ugh. Shoes! I forgot shoes! Okay, gotta bring these. These are my favorite. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. Oh my Gotta wear these to the beach. Shalom. Are you finished packing? Yup, I'm all done. Five minutes after you told us to pack. Okay, so I have shirts to the right side and pants on the left side. I also got my socks all rolled up neatly. My underwear is right here. All in Ziploc bags, of course, separate. Oh, I am so proud. Mm, I'm so proud of you. You know, Shalom, me and you, we do things the same. We get things organized and we get things done on time. That is, is that a checklist? Yep. Girl after my own heart. 
I'll take this and we're getting ready to go. Everybody, we're finished. Come on, let's go. Great job, guys. I'm so glad we made it. Once we get these in, man, we are done. Everybody there? I remember, I left the light on. I'm just gonna be one second. Was that how it was supposed to end? Happy I, I don't know. No. I don't know how it ends. Whatever. Does. Look at my little girl growing up so fast. How does it feel to be older? I don't know. It feels the same. What are we doing for Sessa's birthday? We're going to go see Shasha's favorite movie, so let's go get ready. All right. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Wait. 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 the cake. Just leave it alone, Shalom. Mm. Yeah. Can we just own her? We'll put her up for adoption. Whatever. Dad, I need the keys to the car. I'm gonna drive you guys to the movies. Shasha, you know you can't have the keys to the what car. What do you you're think only... you're doing going out looking like that? Like I said, to the movies with my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Hello? I'm not even allowed to have a boyfriend, and I'm all this. Well, you don't know. My babe might be waiting for me at the theater. Guys, you're not gonna let her go like this. I'm so embarrassed. Of course not. Shasha, go get something else on, something more appropriate. Sorry. Here. I don't think so. 
Well, if you think you're so grown, you clearly don't have time to go to the movies. I'm gonna need you to take care of your little sister. What? 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 Since when did you guys have another baby? And I'm gonna need you to pay some bills. Don't forget to hold the baby's head. It's a newborn. Do this. Sasha, I need you to take me to soccer practice. Start playing soccer? Sasha, I need you to take me to my music lessons. Ask mom and dad. Sasha, I need you to check my homework. Wait, I don't, for the baby. Sasha, I need you to do my dry cleaning. What? Everyone, we're gonna start with a toast. A Thanksgiving toast. What are we all thankful for? I'm thankful for the super cute ginger ale bottles. I'm thankful for Black Friday sales. I'm thankful for my family. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm thankful for this food. Come on, let's start eating. And I am thankful for Shiloh. Why are you drinking the display? The little one was yours. But Daddy, I want this big one, it looks cool, and that small one. But Shiloh, that's just a display. It's been out for the whole day. I don't know if you're gonna really want the big one. Oh, it's okay, it won't be flat. All right, well, everybody, let's raise our glasses to Thanksgiving and our Onyx family. Mmm, nice and fizzly. What's wrong? It's flat! But I, I told you it's not gonna have any fizz in it because it was the display. It's been there for a long time. Uh. Anyhow, uh, we have a lovely meal and I think that um, it would be really good if we start off symbolically with an apple. Yep, family tradition. An apple before Thanksgiving makes you not feel guilty about the rest of the meal. No, I want that! I want that one. Why do you want this one? There's a lot of other apples here. Because it's the biggest one, of course. Selfish much. Going for the big stuff, Shiloh. Big is not always better. Oh, finally time to eat some real food. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Mm. Shiloh, everybody's eating. You're not eating. What's wrong? I want that one. That? Are you delusional or something? Shiloh, that's the display. Look at it, look at it, it's a display. <laughs> oh yeah! Come to Papa's! One of the best Thanksgiving meals ever, oh, ever. Yeah. I don't know if we'll ever be able to talk. No, I don't think we'll ever eat like that again. Like we'll never eat so good. This is this was some good eating. All right, who's ready for apple pie? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I can't okay. Wait. All right. Yeah, my door is All right. Pie. <laughs> Who wants this big piece? Ooh, as a mother, I no, no, I want it. Okay. I want it. Mm. 
Wow, look at all these apples. Mm. It's, uh, mm. it's full of apples. So fresh. Yum, yum. Wait, what the? There's no apples inside. It's hollow. Oh, we've got so many apples. <clears throat> You're having a bad day, aren't you? I'm sure I'd share my apples, but I don't want to feel guilty about my next meal, so. I'm almost done. Those apples were so sweet. Guys, I get what you all trying to do here. You're trying to teach me a lesson where Vegas is not always the best. So, yeah. I learned the lesson a lot, so I learned not the biggest is always the best. You should get the small ones too. You should share it too. I learned my lesson, so where's my real food? What are you talking about? I don't know. It's time to wash dishes. This is our real food. Here. I'm so full. I gotta Here. go lie down. Shout out your day to do this. Right. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. I am so tired. I'm definitely gonna go to sleep. Best Thanksgiving ever! Oh, I think there's. There's a little bit left on here. So, uh, no high feelings? Shiloh, you're in trouble. Shiloh, you're in big trouble, mister. Wait! I've been reading in this article about better ways that we can parent, and you can't speak. It says it does not portray a healthy message for children his age. They recommend time out instead. What? Put him in the corner and tell him that he needs to think about what he's done and he can't move from the corner until we say so. Shiloh, sit here. You need to stay- Stop! It says here that time out in the corner is like jail time. Unless you want our son to grow up like a criminal, stop! No, 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 I, I don't want that. Besides, children, you know, they never take the time to really think about what they've done. So it says here, you need to talk and reason with them. Okay, okay, I'll try that. Now, Shiloh, you do recognize that me and your mom are very disappointed. Stop! Stop! You can't say it that way. Th th then how should I say it? You have to say it in a positive way. All right, mister. Have a seat. You know, Shiloh, your mother and I really appreciate Stop! you. Stop! What? I was actually being positive with him. I know, I know. You know it's just that way. Hun, I really appreciate it. When you allow me to talk to Shiloh but, but without inter- I really appreciate but it. But it's just that the book is saying that if you talk too much or lecture, your child will begin to zone out. So they won't hear a word you're saying, whether it's positive or negative. Shiloh, do you- did you hear what I said? Shiloh? Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Shiloh! Oh no, it's happening! Hun! He's zoning out! What should I do? Quick! Well, it says here, you have to develop a reward system. You know, gotta give him some motivation to behave correctly. You know, money, toys, something. Hey, Shiloh! Look what I got here! Toys! Batman! Transformers! Incredible Hulk! Did you see toys? Oh, so now you hear me. Stop! Don't ever use the reward system to try and buy proper behavior. It doesn't work, but you can use them to take away the privileges. Until you learn your lesson, your mother and I are gonna take these toys and we are gonna Don't put stop. them away. Don't do anything. Don't even move a muscle. He is not gonna learn best by us taking away his stuff or his privileges. 
It says that the best method is to have your child learn through natural consequences. Can I move now? Yeah. So what you're saying to me is this. We have to just allow him to learn his own lesson in his own time through natural consequences. That's, that's right. All right, we'll give it a try. How long do we have to wait? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say how long this takes. Um, Shiloh, why don't you run along while me and your mother have a conversation? Okay. Bye, son. I feel like a failure. We can't even discipline our own child. Okay, I'm gonna look up what it says about parents who feel like failures. Ah! Ow. Uh, Shiloh, what was your question? Um, I don't know. I know they love me, but I don't want to go through that again. Stop! It says here that when children find a way to get out of trouble...